Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the Technology Firm. Today we are going to look at another trace file. This is um, taken from a PC booting up using a corporate base image. And I'm using the packets at the beginning while we're sitting and waiting for the computer to analyze some multicast and broadcast packets that are floating around the network. So let's jump right into it. The first thing we see is some HSRP, that's the Cisco Hot Standby Routing Protocol or Router Protocol. And you can see dot two and dot three are sending out packets and dot two is a standby and dot three is the active and when we look inside the header you will find all sorts of goodies so for example the priority in the group which people need to know when they configure this stuff and the authentication data and this is actually quite important this uh, by default is Cisco and it's text clear text so anybody with an analyzer can decode your authentication data and if security at this level is a concern you probably do not want to use the default authentication Cisco provides a, another option called MD5 which is not clear text and I guess better in that sense and lastly the virtual IP is 60.1 so you can make sure dot two is advertising dot one and dot three is advertising dot one so all is good in the HSRP side of the fence STP spanning tree uh, the MSTP part of it is the multiple spanning tree component and right now this is 8192 and the default for spanning tree is 32768 which is hex 8000. You can also see the cost and the port number. So this helps you orient yourself in your network and you can validate this against your spanning tree design to make sure that if your root identifier is not 32k that it's there for a reason so hopefully that this is here for a reason and lastly EIGRP so we have EIGRP which is a routing protocol from Cisco used on the exterior side of your router and many times it's being advertised on the clients segment such as this and that's more of a design or sometimes security concern that you do not want these packets floating around on the client side they should only be on the exterior side facing other routers for example. So you can see here is EIGRP inside the packet header we have our K values which everybody who knows anything about EIGRP you need to know what your K values are. A whole timer and this type of information is obviously reflected in your configuration but we can actually see it on the network as well. And you know what there's one more I just thought of that I want to see. There it is. So CDP is your Cisco Discovery Protocol. A lot of people have that on by default as well. And we can actually see things such as the switch ID, which is a switch name, and the port facing us. Inside the header though, if you dig in, you'll see some other good stuff. For example, the version of the software on the switch and the switch model as well. And if we move down a little further, we've got the IP address of the switch. And we should also have the VLAN information as well as, yeah, there it is, VLAN 60 and duplex is full duplex. So all this information uh, with CDP is great for documentation so you don't have to trace that, you know, that rat's nest of cables underneath the desk or in the wiring closet. You'll know exactly what you're connected to. Just be careful if devices between you and this switch are transparent, like an unmanageable switch, um, you, you may uh, misidentify and troubleshoot which port you're on. So just be careful about that. So hope that helps. Have a good day. Bye for now.